paid £1,200 for this car in March of last year, which I think is great value for what you get. I made this review with younger drivers in mind who would also be looking for small displacement, fun, cheap cars. The audio isn't the best, but hopefully you get the idea. So let's get into it. Start with the exterior. The, there's a few subtle changes from the standard Ibiza, being the Formula Sport. And first of all, you get these honeycomb style mesh inserts for the grill portion. Uh, same for the bottom here. You get the more aggressive style bumper as well with fog lights, which is nice. Moving around, you get the FR kind of wheels. These are 16 inch wheels. You get disc brakes on the rear, which is nice to have. You get one of the later revision rear bumpers. And uh, the spoiler, that's standard on all Ibethas. I think they all come like that, but uh, I think it definitely offsets it well and it looks looks nice, just a small flick off the roof line. Um, and mine, when I bought mine, they, these came with these Team Heco um, wind deflectors, which do a great job in the rain and quite windy conditions. Uh, it also has um, a non-standard exhaust system can see in there it's, a G, it's GT performance uh, I'm not particularly familiar with that brand but um, that's the one replacement one my mechanic installed uh, my independent mechanic and uh, it looks fairly stock uh, I, I, I didn't ask for it but it was fairly cheap and I think it sounds nice so one win it's also worth mentioning that the, the Formula Sport rides on lower suspension than standard as, as you can kind of see it's not blatantly obvious because the wheels don't really feel uh, wheels don't really fill the arches too much but it does ride on lower than standard suspension with a uh, uprated shocks as well which definitely firming up the ride they don't sacrifice the comfort too much but um, enough for me to want to dodge potholes and etc so coming inside the car the Formula Sport, it gets these absolutely lovely kind of diamond pattern stitched, stitched style seats with a um, much larger bolstering than a, a t your typical Ibiza. Uh, they really do hold you in a lot more snug than uh, like the standard ones. Uh, it's matching for the rear bench as well, which is nice to see. The, these seats, obviously these seats are classic, super underrated and I think they look spot on you get this lovely sports style steering wheel with the uh, steering wheel controls uh, that work with the original um, radio and the spot on uh, five speed manual just standard uh, you also get a, f a few nice little touches like um, a pop out drinks holder and you also get which is a brilliant feature aircon uh, for the price of these cars, offer an aircon, which is actually nice and chilly. Uh, it's, it's a great bonus. You also get remote locking, so you get electric windows and central locking, of course. Uh, electric mirrors as well, electrically adjusted mirrors. And uh, there's your typical Volkswagen Audi Group light controls and cluster. And yeah, I, I, it's just a fairly nice car to be in. Um, I do think this is a really ideal car for young people because uh, I mean how many friends will have really nice working air conditioning a nice steering wheel like this and the instrument cluster as well you get nice white dials uh, which is great for just seeing nice and clearly and and the, it's backlit as well for nighttime driving you also get a temperature gauge and obviously fuel gauge but the temperature gauge this is the first car I've ever owned with a temperature gauge can't recommend it enough so that you know when your car's up to temperature and then you can if you want to you can give it some beans so I'll take you into the engine bay excuse the missing decal uh, it fell off while I was driving and um, I've never been able to attach it since all the clips have snapped but this right here this is kind of the the point of the formula spot this engine is I don't know how well you'll be able to see under there but it is 
BBZ engine. BBZ. And basically, what that means is you get a 1.4 16 valve unit making 100 horsepower, which, yeah, yeah, it's not phenomenal, I'm not gonna lie, but for this car, this car's weight, which is about 1100 kilos, give or take, and um, for the character of the engine, 100 horsepower is plenty to have good fun, good miles per gallon, and for a young person, I really do think you, you will struggle to match this. Um, it's all, there's another little BBZ little marker that someone put on previously before I bought it, but yeah, I, I can't fault this engine. As of recording this, I've had the car for six months. It's not let me down, and uh, yeah, it's been spot on. Just before we set off, it's worth mentioning that this car gets an aux, 3.5 millimeter uh, female. One two, one two, one two. my short sightedness um, my phone is on low battery and obviously being an iPhone you only have one place to plug your desired item into the the lightning port and I cannot use my microphone so I'm just gonna have to take a little gamble that you can hear me fairly clearly so this um, th this is my car this is the Ibiza and um, first of all uh, I'll start with the drive dynamics. Um, the steering, it's it's fine. It's it's fairly lightly weighted, but um, you do get some response. You get some feedback from what's happening beneath you. Not a whole lot, but that's what it is. Um, it, this car does offer reasonable comfort. I'm cruising here at 45 miles an hour, and uh, I'm not having any problems. The surface is fairly even. The, the pedals, pedals are fine to use, it's standard Volkswagen equipment, you can't really go wrong. Everything's got long throws, the throttle, the brakes, uh, the brakes not so much, but definitely the, the clutch, the clutch has got an enormous throw, um, which um, can make it a little bit uh, tedious for um, rev match downshifting, however, for a learner to drive, that's exactly what you want. Nice long throws, easy to learn. The uh, same story with the gearbox, quite a long throw, but it's just a standard Volkswagen gearbox and it does the job fine. I can still rev match with it quite happily. Try and shade you a little bit. I must say these wind deflectors do generate a bit of uh, turbulence, having them on the outside, but uh, it's nothing that really upsets me too much to the point where I'd take them off. Uh, I quite enjoy having them there. I think that adds a nice little edge to the car as well. Things that I would look to change is because the throw is so long, you could install a short shift kit to help with your gear changes, just make them that, that bit snappier, that bit faster. And uh, I imagine that's something that a young person who could own this car would want to do. It would probably fall in their budget fairly nicely. Gets mid 40s MPG for mixed driving. It's pr that's pretty good. Um, it's a 16 valve unit too, which is better than most eight valve and three cylinder options uh, for me for this generation i really do think the bbz engine is the pick of the naturally aspirated engines uh, it was only available in the Seat ibiza and the skoda fabia uh, for the first generation skoda fabia and the 6l ibiza and for me personally, I would choose the Ibiza because it is the lighter of the two, it has two less doors. However, um, you, can, you can find uh, Formula Sports with the five door option, but personally, lighter weight, nicer, nicer driving dynamic, it's a little bit lighter. Since we're satellite, we'll talk performance. This car, as I said, makes 100 horsepower. 5 speed gearbox, uh, does 0 to 60 in 11 seconds, that's what the manufacturers say. Uh, I think with uh, slick gear changes and a bit aggressive throttle, I think you could get that down a little bit, but not much. Um, 
terms of modification, these engines, the BBZ engine, it's naturally aspirated and without a lot of, a mo lot of money, it's not going to give you a whole lot of extra performance. So I think your money is better spent on suspension and uh, induction exhaust mods if you want and you can get a nice sounding car. I like the sound in this car, I think it's borders between verbally and nice, especially when you're pressing it as well. The real highlight of this car, I'd say, is the induction noise, especially when you're hiring the rev range. 5k is, for me is the real sweet spot where it sounds lovely. Uh, I don't know how well that'll be able to be picked up through the camera, but um, let's see what we can do. Uh, this is the road I was on about, and I've just seen someone disappear down here, so that is a bit disappointing. Uh, I'm gonna back up here for a minute and wait so I don't crash into him. Okay, so I'll give it a little bit of time and hopefully now we can start on our little bit of fun twisty road and actually show you what the car's like. Like a rev match downshift, no problem in this car. It's really is a joy to use the clutch and gearbox and the throttle all in one as long as you know how to do it it's there's a knack to it and obviously it's different with every car at a junction so that was our little blast hopefully you got a little idea of what the car's like uh, on a little spin out and if you're familiar at all with the uh, Seat lineup you'll know that the range goes uh, standard uh, sport kind of in between kind of uh, sometimes I call it design or whatever so you just get the features and then um, it's FR, which is mildly sporty, and then the uh, you get the Cupra, which is the all-out performance one, uh, that you, the, the best you can get. I believe it's 180 horsepower in this car, correct me if I'm wrong, for the Cupra. Um, so, FR, Cupra, and you can kind of see where this one falls. This one's Formula Sport, so abbreviated FS, just before the uh, FR, so sequentially down, downshift quite nice in this car too so you can kind of see where this car falls it's not it's not on in terms of uh, performance and outright power it's nowhere near in terms of the FR but it's it's a nice happy ground happy medium between having a, a solid commuter like a solid just city A and B car and uh, something with a little bit of an edge so yeah that pretty much concludes my review for this so Cheers for watching.